there look like eyeballs. A little hooting and hollering over here. You look like a fool to me. Good morning. Welcome to the vlog. It is currently, oh, it's 9 a.m. on the dot. That's sick. And we have boxing at 9.30. Um, I went to boxing at 7.15 yesterday, so this kind of feels like a bit of a vacation. If I can get this thing on. Made an amino lean and then a little with Armra, and then I added Armra to my water as well. And I added Stir. I have had a small obsession with stir. I bought like, I bought a lot. I feel like I go through it kind of quickly because I use it a lot. Um, it has zero sugar, which is amazing. It's got, it's dyed with vegetable dye, which is great. It uses real fruit to make the flavoring. Um, and it does have antioxidants, which is cool. Um, it's just, I like that it is like quite you know, cause like clean, I didn't want to be using things with dyes. And I don't like watermelon flavored things, but surprisingly, this strawberry watermelon has been my favorite flavor. So I just got an entire pack of those. Literally ordered from Amazon, an entire pack of them. I love it, it's my fave. Today is a big day because we have book club and I went yesterday to go grocery shopping um, for book club because we're gonna have a three course meal. Ugh. I'm still waking up. So tonight we are having, uh, the, if you haven't read Butcher Blackbird, um, like the, it won't matter. These are on theme, but like you're not gonna, it's not like a spoiler or, any, or anything. Um, so we've got prosciutto and mozzarella, like appetizer things that look like eyeballs. We've got, uh, what's called, what we're calling like butcher burgers. It's just burgers and that's called butcher black or whatever um and we are having that with french fries and brussels sprouts which are going to be named according to theme i'm not gonna lie i know i think what i'm gonna name the brussels sprouts but i'm not gonna say it again just so it's not like too much um like given away and then i'm not positive about the um, um oh no i don't know um, I think, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I'm going to name the french fries. I also have hot dogs that I think I'm going to make as well, and those are going to look like fingers. Um, it's a book about serial killers, so just like. And then we are, for dessert, we are having blackbird crisp with vanilla ice cream. Um, blackbird being blackberry. So I've got blackberries, and I... I don't think I've ever made a crisp by myself. If I made a crisp before, it's definitely like when I was little, like baking with my Nana or something. So, or maybe my mom. So the latter half of the afternoon will be dedicated to that. Uh, first part of the day will be getting ready. I have to, um, I honestly need to write down my to-do list. I need to finish a makeup video, uh, and then I need to finalize an Instagram series and start filming it. I thought I was going to do like 10 days of dressing up like 90s and 2000s. Do I have? That looks like a gnarly farmer's tan. Oh, it's the shadow. Oh my God, I thought that that was a farmer's tan. I do need to get a tan, however. On a fully different note, I need to get a tan before I leave for my trip on Monday. But, so I was going to do um, a like 10 days of dressing up like early 2000s films, like late 90s, early 2000s films, which I still think would be fun. Um, but I don't know if I want to do 10 days of that. I feel like I would just want to like find a sound that's relevant and like do some of my favorite movies. Then I thought, oh, I'll do like 10 days of dressing like my favorite shows. And I think that would be fun. It's just a bigger lift. And I think I would need like a whole week to get those filmed and ready. And I essentially have two days of filming. That's just more specific versus that now I think I'm either going to do a three by three by three challenge, like a couple of them, or a one piece multi, actually, I think I'm going to do one piece multiple ways and I'll do 10 days of that. So 10 days of styling one piece multiple ways. That I have to like think of like the hook and what it's going to look like at the top of the video. I think I'm gonna do that because I really like, I think that that is a little bit more, I don't know, it provides a different type of challenge and styling because it's like doing things in a 
fully, you know, being, trying to be different with things. And it's also utilizing what's in your wardrobe. It's, it's maximizing your use out of a piece of clothing. And I love that. So, okay. And I bet I could film at least two today. And that brain power isn't for now. For now is getting ready for the day and getting ready for boxing. So let's do that. over that felt really good like well I mean I kicked my ass but it was really good class as far as like I felt I sweat a lot which was really really good I do think I'm gonna take tomorrow off because uh two classes in a row has my upper body feeling like really like I've worked on it a lot and not I don't want to sound old but like I feel like I'm having to be a lot more careful with how much I strain myself like stretching like stretching a lot and I know I need to be stretching more. I would let, maybe, you know what? I signed up for ClassPass. I'm gonna put a link on this because ClassPass might be the most genius thing that I've ever freaking seen. Um, and so I think I'm going to use a ClassPass, please don't hit me, fantastic, to go to either a yoga or Pilates class. I think I'm gonna go to a yoga class because I'll see what's in the area or see what's available um, because I think that my body could use it and but i also do need to actually actually use my planet fitness membership because i definitely signed up and i haven't gone but i don't think that's a waste because i still like have the option and i that's just maybe a different day or maybe i'll do that tomorrow afternoon but i just need more stretching and like actually paying attention to like oh if you like worked your upper body like maybe you need to take a day off and that that's actually helpful i know i like i've heard that my whole life like you learn that like whatever but i've always like in class like it's always just like push harder push harder push harder and but that got me injured like a couple months ago and i'm like ooh. and then i have my wrist problem that i have surgery for in november and so if i feel something there like i'm not gonna hit as hard and like whatever um it's just fascinating see feeling your body do different things um and nothing's i don't know it's not alarming yet, but I'm just understanding that I really need to prioritize movement of my body, walking, stretching, yoga, those types of things. Like it's so good for your mobility and that's very important. So right now I'm going to drop my car off because it's going to get serviced at like three. Um, but I was like, can I just drop it off? I'm going to be working from home all day so um, they can just have it. And then when it's ready, it's ready go home. I'm going to order lunch in because I won't have a car. Um, and because I'll be getting the food ready for tonight and we ate all the, anything for leftovers really. So it's going to be a great day. I feel really, really good. I actually am really liking working out in the morning. I went from being a morning person to an afternoon person. Now I'm like back on my morning train. I don't know. I think I, I, I like the mornings right now. We'll see how long that lasts. I just kind of let myself ebb and, flow, ebb and flow in and out of like my workout interests and when I like to work out, I'm like, life changes, my interests change, that's totally okay. As long as I'm moving my body, like I feel good about that. All right, we are we're back home and I took a shower, had a little bit of like a meeting with Sarah and opened a bunch of PR, which obviously I'm like trying out. Um, but now I just basically have to do some computer work. I need to send like a sample contract um, and create content plan. I have a meeting in like 15 minutes. And then I really, really need to film. I really, really need to film the outfit video that I wanted to do. Um, but 
I got a couple things. No, I need to, I need to, and I need to film my makeup transition. All right. And then I'm trying to think of when I need to start prepping for dinner. Probably around when Sarah gets here, to be honest. Um, so I have basically until three o'clock. And I think my next meeting is going to be very long. I also decorated the table today for book club and we've got body parts. Hello? Okay, wonderful. Body parts on the table. I've got to get this cleaned up um, before everybody gets here. Ooh, I gotta send that to them. Ooh, oh, I'm behind. Oh God. Business tax ID number. Opened the door for our uh, like bug pest control guy. Like he knocked on the door. He's like, is this yours? <laughs> I said, no, but I know whose it is. This is Tiller. And I, you really want to play outside, but <laughs> we just played outside. And I told you I had to come in and do work. How do how do dog owners get anything done? Here, take it back. Okay. Killer is our neighbors, and sometimes like, he just comes over. <laughs> That's fine. It's just I have company. <laughs> Make yourself a home, bud. Do you like my decorations? All right, we gotta get ready for book club. We gotta go. I almost had a heart attack. I was just like, you know, because <laughs> of the skeleton. Yeah, a fucker. That's fine. Just sitting there menacingly. Do you want to show them what scared you? So hold on, I'm gonna give you a POV. So I'm coming downstairs. It's 6 a.m. I'm going to work. Coming down the stairs. Turn, turn, and this is what's sitting in the living room because I forgot we put it there. It's dark and spooky, and there's a dark and spooky skeleton. He's also yelling. A little hooting and hollering over here. We got this tree today. It's dark and spooky. A very nice candelabra. Ghost frog, skeleton frog, if you will. A jar of bat wings. Can't have too many of those. Dragon, candelabra with a skull. You can't see it, it's very dark in here. A Ouija board book, spell book, a Ouija board book. That thing, and more candles. Yeah, it should be done. This is where she always resides in our house. This place on the floor. It's my floor. It's my floor. This is fully on your face. And me? Yeah. Now, now it's like hip hop. Oh, we're going backwards. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> whoa! We got butter and pants and floor yoga. This is floor humping. The floor humping. This is turning into a tripod. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Didn't I get yelled at for doing that over the weekend? <laughs> When were you floor you humping? No, when I had to act out rough sex and the oh, yeah. sh charades, and Sarah goes, "I never want to see that again I in my life." Like I mean, I did. She did. Well, what did you just do? <laughs> I just did that on the ground. Look at my shirt for book club. How I need to. Yeah. I came up like a creature. Very book talk. Yes. She's wearing my pants and she just came over from Charlotte, just took my house, showered, and laid on my floor. Perfect. You're right, the bangs are banging right now. Banging. Hello, these are my nostrils. <laughs> Wait, why is one of my nostrils so much thinner than the other? Are yours like that? You're supposed to be vlogging. <laughs> Sorry. Book vlog. Book, book club prep. Book vlog prep. Book club prep. So what did I say? What? What did I say? Book vlog trip. I'm like, said book vlog, like, fog. Like, where to vlog. Okay, but can... No, yours are the same size. Yours are also the same size. This is yours. Wow! <laughs> Wait, which one's the... Your nose is kind of wonky. 
Which one's the, this one? This the thinner one. You had a broken Weird, because that's always the nose like nostril that gets clogged and I can't breathe out of. You could do one of those things where people I wonder like, if that's like a health thing. Surgery for a deviated septum and then they get a nose job. But I don't, I don't think, think I need a nose job. Sounds like she's actually needing a nose job. I know. I know, it's rude. I'm gonna be honest, it's such a weird food. Hot dog is, yeah. Did you put butter for the hot dogs? Yeah. Okay. You know Harry Potter when his like, arm is like... Yeah. That's what hot dogs remind me of. Yeah. Also, I'm so not convinced I ever did that. I think that's a What are we lot. saying you did? When she claims that I used to, when I would make bacon and I think you've only done it once because I said, what the fuck are you doing? Or at least like, I don't know if it was your first time making bacon, but like first time I saw you making bacon, he put butter in the pan to pour the bacon in it. I don't believe that's true. He did. He did. These are called the Orb Weavers Collection. So they look like eyeballs. It's a bloody finger! Ooh! That's very nice. These are from Aldi. I saw that and I said, bro, that's mine. You're coming home with me. You're coming home with me. The club! The club! We need to hit Joseph. Oh, I'm sorry. We thought we made a friend. <laughs> no, I know. As soon as I heard you guys talking, I was like, yeah. Yeah. I want to play her Akatar Cards mm -hmm. Against Humanity so bad. Yeah. I was vibing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we um, are the best house in the neighborhood. And, and we've made a brand yeah. surprise. Because we do <laughs> we do full size candy bars, like full size candies, and then uh, mini bottles for the of the parents. Oh my god.